Hello humans, Master Dinner Flex here, and today I'm going to explain why Destiny Hero Disc Commander needed an errata. Now, this is not to say that I think the one he got was fair or not. That's not the dis discussion, but I had a lot of people ask, tell me it could have came back without an errata, and unfortunately, that is not even the slightest bit possible, and I'm going to show you why. So... Destiny Hero Disc Commander, one of the, he's, when he's special summoned from the graveyard, draw two cards. Let's see how this is broken. Well, if you're just looking at the TCG, we got only Soul Charge and Monster Reborn as instant guaranteed revivals for this. Not to mention, you have to, you have to use setup for him, and sometimes the setup you're giving him isn't worth the payoff. But you'd believe that if you're just taking it at face value. In the OCG, they don't have two. They have five ways to use this. If you don't know what this is, this is called World Legacy Monster Reborn. And what this allows you to do is reborn a monster to a link point on your side of the field. Wow. And obviously it's once per turn. But it's searchable as well. Because it's a World Legacy card. So you're telling me... That I have five ways to get... To the to get this card out of the graveyard and draw two fresh cards? Yep. But, you're like, okay, but then you need to have them in the graveyard. And then you need to have one of these cards. Like, if you've never played a Link deck... Like a Link spam deck... This might... It might seem hard to use this commander... But it's not. Look at this card. When it's Link Summoned, you search a warrior, it doesn't matter. You dump an equip spell, and if you played the Goki version of Troy Mare, you dump Phoenix Blade, because that allows you to have infinite discard fodder for the Griffin and like all the other Troy Mare. And uh you summon Disc Commander, and that's three bodies, two different names as well, and they have summon sorceress, so it can go even further. And then, if you haven't seen it, you can just make Skulldread. So what you're allowing a Link deck to do is you're allowing it to have three different versions of Monster Reborn. And every time they activate it, they get to draw two cards. And if their full combo goes off, they could easily draw four or l even luckier, six. Why would you ever give that to a deck that already doesn't interact with their opponent? And that's all I gotta say. Like, when you're cycling this many cards, Disc Commander is a free body that just gives you so much draw power in decks that already don't interact with your opponent. So, that's why he needs an errata. Now, on to, do I think the errata was fair? No, absolutely not. It was over uh similar to Sinister Serpent. Um, all it needed to be was a hard once per... Okay, so there was two ways they could have done it. They could have made it a hard once per duel, which... Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Or, they could have made it a hard once per turn, and then you can't use it the turn you send it there. Either way, it would have been better than what they gave it. But even when keeping those in mind, draw two is still something very hard to ignore. But as of right now in the TCG, there's no, really no incentive to play it. At least, for the most part, you just shouldn't play it. But once we get this, it's always an option to keep in mind. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And hopefully you understand that Disc Commander is just a broken card. You can't look at Disc Commander when it was legal and say this is as powerful as it is. Because some cards get power creeped. But their effects don't. And Disc Commander's just a body. And he's way easier to descend to the graveyard now than he ever was. And drawing two now is more critical than it ever was. Because the, draw, the cards you draw you can use much quicker now than you could then. So yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Dinnerflex will take your soul.